Welcome to another episode of Jeremy Munson Outdoors. Wow. The sun is just rising. Just got to the lake that I want to fish. Got up pretty early this morning. Got everything loaded. The temperature on my truck says negative 13. It's supposed to get up to 30 degrees, so it's about a 45 degree swing, but it's going to be a battle here for the first few hours, couple hours, because trying to search for the fish, it's going to be pretty chilly out. But we'll fight through it. We got to keep getting some content out there, so hopefully uh, we can get into some some bagging panfish today. We'll see. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to fish for. I want to make it to at least around noon, and we'll see what happens. As always, please hit that like button. Press the subscribe button. That, uh, that all helps me out. It helps spread my content out more or for YouTube to uh, distribute it a little more. So just keep doing that. Channel keeps growing. I went over 500 subscribers, which is the goal at the end of ice season. So thank you guys for that. That is awesome. Next stop, 1,000. We'll see. That's my That's my longer term goal. We'll see if we get there. Never thought I'd be the, to this point after a little over a year when I started this channel. So it's all a tribute to you guys. Couldn't do it without you. So thank you very much. Now, let's quit this gushy stuff. Let's let's get out on the lake, huh? Let's go see if we can get in. See if we can go get into one, huh? Let's go see. We'll see you guys out there. Here we go. All right, bought the uh, Otter Pro Lodge. Just in case I get cold. Here we go. Let's get after it, huh? It's time. <laughs> All right, I made it to the spot. Whew. My face and head feels like uh, I ate a gallon of ice cream way too fast. <laughs> it's chilly out here. At least there's no wind, but uh, I'd say if there was wind, I probably wouldn't even be fishing. There's only one, actually two permanents out here. This lake sometimes gets fairly busy. Two permanents. I guess that's what happens when uh, you have a winter storm warning. Everybody gets their houses off the lake. It's pretty, uh, pretty serene when you got a lake to yourself. It's amazing. I absolutely love it, especially this time of day, time of year. The icicles finally uh, melted. I almost saw it melted off my mustache. I'd say it's time to pop some holes, huh? Here's my assortment. We got a beaver dam, we got some vexins, and we got some tuned up customs. We are gonna go with the old precision noodle to start out. It's like usual. She was caught. The string was caught a little bit. All right, we're in about 11 feet of water. Let's see what happens here, guys. I wasn't recording since I was in search mode, but that's a decent sized bluegill, eight incher. I suppose I should set the tripod up. <clears throat> All right, here we go again. It's a good sign. It's a good sign. I like that. And they're actually coming up fairly high to hit it. Well, four feet off the bottom. Just comes up and just looks at it and says, no, thank you. It's below zero right now, so it just gets colder. Oh, here comes one racing. This is definitely, if I catch this, it's all because of the live scope. I could not see this on the hummingbird. Come on. I looked. There you go. I want to flip it up, but <laughs> decent sized crappie. I'm not keeping anything today, but there it is. It'd be a great eater size one. There is a huge one down there. Turn down. Come on. Come on. Let's see if we can get this one. That would be awesome. Oh my goodness, this one's coming. Oh, 
That one's going to hurt. It's hard to tell when you're in 11 feet of water how big they are on the live scope exactly, especially when they're coming up flying. The live scope really opens up a whole new world underneath the ice. Like there's fish down here that I see now that I never saw when I had the hummingbird down there. It helps <clears throat> helps with your jigging too because you can see them coming from a ways away and see if you're jigging what you're doing is working or not well we've had a few lookers oh there's a northern on the bottom you can see that going across i think it's a northern anyways yeah it's below zero and uh i figured it's time to get the heat on warm up a bit and then go maybe try to do some hole hopping all right, this sitting in one spot thing is clearly not working, so I'm going to go back outside and start hole hopping and uh, see if I can find some fish. I am sweating now, so whew, that was worth it. Now it's time to get after it and try to get some more fish again. Come on, let's lock into something good. Got some heart. Oh, oh yeah, baby. Good idea to go hole hopping. There we go. That's almost nine inch there. Look at that pie plate. <laughs> Beauty. See you bye. No wind. Sun shining. Fresh snow cover. Walk into some big, big blueies. Ooh, ooh. That one, I honestly didn't even feel it. That one hit so hard, I didn't. And that one feels nice. Come on, don't get caught on the bottom of the ice. That's the battle part. It's getting caught on the bottom of the ice. Ooh, that's a nice one. Oh, come on. That is a nice. <laughs> that's why I didn't feel it hit. Guys, look at this tank. <laughs> that is a toad right there. <laughs> 12, 13 inch all day long. Look at this baby. beauty it's got some good girth it's got shoulders man is that thing nice <laughs> back down almost makes me want to keep some i honestly can't believe how long that other one stayed on usually a hook pops out when it fights that much for a crappie oh yeah <laughs> guys are fired up now <laughs> oh yeah Nice keeper sized bluegill. But also here comes another one, so the other one might hit it before that one does, and it did. <laughs> These these things fight. Come on. I can never do the hide my fingers one handers very well. I have pretty big hands. God, is it beautiful out now. Bring that fish host and heater though is what got me to this point. Ooh. Ooh, that one just slowly bit. Oh no. <sighs> Here comes one all charged up. Come on and hit me. Oh, here comes another. Oh, yeah. It's crazy to me how I can be like not even 20 feet from the fish house. Oh my goodness. Got off again. Switch to the green demon jig. Just to try it out. 
and here here we go <laughs> that's a beautiful bluegill there I went exploring around a little bit and ended up getting this beauty. Look at that. That is a nice, nice bluegill. Beauty. Oh, come on. Stay on there, buddy. Stay on there. Oh, they're tangled. That's not good. That's not, there's no way. Oh, still on. I can't believe it. Man, we got a big old pumpkin seed. That's pretty nice. That one. Switched to the old pink tungsten toad. I was using the demon jig most of the day, but I figured I might as well give this a shot with some two waxies on it. <laughs> Try it out. One for one. There we go. There we go. What a nine and a half. -er. Watch this one. That is a beauty. Oh, yeah. Ear tap comparison. That's when you know it's a tank. That's when you know it's a tank. Compared to the hole, it's definitely longer than eight. Now we're back. Now we're back, guys. I had somebody, a couple over here, they just drove right across the whole lake on a snowmobile, parked about 30 yards from me, so I was like, well, I can't really talk much now, but that one's an okay one, about a seven and a half eater, good eater. I had the drag set kind of loose because we're catching crappies and bluegills and it seems like if you have it too tight it rips it right out of their mouth. Oh I'm doing it the wrong way. Especially if they start fighting and they get caught on the bottom of the ice. Rips it right out. But this Show you what I switched to. This has been the ticket for the bluegills. The hot pink, hot pink and white Simcoe bug from Sci Flies. Made in Canada. Oh, Canada! Don't worry. Give me another try. Give me 
Ho, 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 buddy. Whoa. This one has some heart. Guys, this one's got some fight in them. Oh, it's another bluegill. Oh, yeah. Got a little bit of pot belly. Nothing wrong with that one. That's a nice, nice bluegill. Back in the hole. Oh, it just, that must be a sunny because it barely just tapped it. Oh, here comes up. That one's gonna hit. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Let's stay on. Stay on. We're getting the transducer up. Man, do they hammer this thing. <laughs> and what did I say? Did I say it was going to be a crappie? <laughs> yes, sir. There it is. Man. Real nice. Real nice. There are fish galore down in this hole. This one looks pretty nice. Oh, a bit of ice on the reel. Not good. Not good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. Oh. <laughs> the hook popped out. I almost lost it, but I caught him. Guys, I caught him. Stuck my hand and wrist in the water. This one's a double hander. Oh, that's a beauty pie plate right there. Oh, it doesn't get a lot better. <laughs> Look at that thing. Beast. That is a beautiful male. You know what we like to do? Finger. To the ear tab comparison. That's when you know they're tanks. Look at that. Big as my fingernail. Tanks and toads. What a beautiful fish. Look at that convert to a hole. Just a pie plate. Bye bye. All right, I figured that was a good one to end on. <clears throat> it's time to get going. I am starving. It's midday. I just wanted to fish till midday. And uh, I didn't bring any food. That's my bad. But it has turned into be a beautiful day. This it is. It's nice out now. I got into some tanks and toads today. As you could see, I had to hole hop and stuff. It's it's not easy to get a lot of big ones when you just sit in one spot. You gotta you gotta hop around. It's not fun sometimes, especially when it's cold out. But if you want to get a big one. Or bigger sized ones you have to hop around i know the tape don't lie and i didn't bring it out but when you get a 10 inch or through an 8 inch hole hey, you know they look like a freak of nature coming up so even some nine and a half to 10 inch do they don't necessarily have to be a 10 incher but you just know that in your gut feeling that it's either going to be a 10 or close but it's like ever since i made this a thing that I'm on a quest for a 10 plus inch of this ice season because I never got one yet. Now I, it's like I can't catch them. I've gotten multiple in the past, but just can't get one this ice season. But late ice, the best is yet to come. So fingers crossed, hopefully, hopefully it'll happen. We'll see. And hopefully you guys are along with the ride when it does. But as always, thanks for tuning in to Jeremy Munson Outdoors. Please hit that like button, press the subscribe button, help my content out. Uh, you can follow me on Facebook at Jeremy Munson Outdoors, or I have an Instagram and a TikTok at jmon under slash uh, outdoors. I usually put when I'm going to upload or have my next video live, so those are good ways to also see when the videos are going to come up. Hope you guys have been having good luck fishing and late ice is approaching. It's not here yet, but it'll be coming. 
All right, it's time for me to go. We will see you next time. Peace. See ya. Thank you.